Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with my garage. And before we get into the game, I just want to apologise for the lack of videos for the past at least two weeks. I've been so busy uh, between helping my stepdad, helping my mum and other family members and whatnot. Um, yeah, here we are, back with my garage. Oh, and also, before we get into the game, please remember, if you like the video, hit that like button. If you don't like the video, feel free to hit the dislike button. Um, and check the video description, please, for uh, links to my other YouTube channels. I do have two others. Um, my Discord server and my Twitch. Right, let's get into the game. I cannot remember what we were doing. Oh yeah, I bought these cars last time and we had to look at the uh, the dyno and whatnot. But what I was planning to do, if memory serves correctly, is to build two more of these identical to the two I've got parked way over yonder. Same colour, same engine, same specs, just so I have a complete set of four. I don't know why I just wanted to do that, so hopefully that's a three litre in there. It'll be a three litre because that means I wouldn't have to change the engine. Yes, it is a three litre. Good. It's not a turbo though, so I have got to put a turbo on it. This one, however, is a turbo. So, is this a 3 litre diesel? It is. Awesome. But this has got the engine that I want already fitted. It just hasn't got the extra performance parts fitted to it yet. So let's start with the coupe. It's got the wrong colour interior. I need some work on the interior anyway. So how have you all been? Hope you've all been well. I've been well, I've just been really, really busy. It's been ridiculous. Might have a star motor issue there. Are we automatic? No, we're not. Leave, I made the other two an automatic. I really did not think I was going to get that car around the corner. Well, let's park it here. Here will do. Check that start motor out. Can't imagine. Well, that looks fine. We do have a bad fuel pump. Notice that. We need a new belt. The other headers and everything look fine. Oh, and there's a bad battery as well. Well, that would explain the uh, sluggish start. I will check engine in terms. Timing chain is okay. I think the pistons are, and they're whatnot are all okay. I'm just going to assume they're okay and just change what I can see. Interior they go for. I think it was the black, wasn't it? Yeah, just a standard black interior. Black and chrome trim. I stuck the Mercedes badges on it. Right. I don't know why I just closed that. idea. Check the uh, oil. Where's the dipstick? The full for oil. What about this liquid? We've got some in there as well. Brake fluid? Good for brake fluid too. Brilliant. While I'm under here, I might as well take the old bell off. 
I'll check the uh, fuel filler. Oh, I need a steering box as well. Maybe I should get this up here because I'm going to have to look at the underside, aren't I? It's bought from that dealership, so no doubt that's going to need some suspension work as well. But first, let's see if we can get this to run better. So I want to change that uh, fuel pump anyway. I don't think it's necessary to change the car, but I do anyway. I6 diesel engine. What is it I need? I need a battery. Air filter's fine. It doesn't use an air filter anyway. Uh, I haven't checked the oil filter yet. Fuel filter looks okay. I'm going to change those so it matches the um, three litre diesels in the other two. And I'm also going to get that. No, I don't think I changed any of that. I think that's the only thing that I switched over. Well, that's timing chain. It was the belt I wanted, wasn't it? Glow plug, glow plug, relay. I'm going to check the glow plugs as well, actually. Belt, that's what I was after. The alternator belt. Sometimes it's called the alternator belt, sometimes it's called the auxiliary belt. Little tensioner thingy is okay. What is that? I bet that's a timing chain, so I'm not gonna click on it. What do with my tools? Aha. One first. So we need to get this off, don't we? Yeah, fuel filter looks okay. Pump, on the other hand, is no bueno. No good. Okay, it's off. Oh, looks like we're going to need a um, subframe on this. Hopefully, I can drop the subframe out of this. Let's just check the oil filler. Yeah, I hope I can drop the subframe out of this. We haven't got one. <laughs> okay, oh, it's down there. And anyway, as I was saying before the uh, oil filler distracted me, I hope we can get that subframe out without having to drop the engine. Is it the subframe? I saw rust. Oh! Maybe it's not the subframe. Is it the um, control lab? Oh, yeah. Alright then. That's fine. Fine. Apparently, wires are okay. I think I might end up playing uh, this game with no audio. I think the battery's gone dead on my headphones. <laughs> Never mind, there's not much audio to worry about with this. As long as you guys can still hear it. I'm going to let me pick up the uh, auxiliary belt on the neck of my hand. I just see two maps in there. What I might do as well is just pop this uh, rocker cover off and check that. Oh, they're it! Well, I never knew that. Oh. I'm sure this wall's changed colour as well. We've got the uh, normal map. Oh, I 
just remembered what one of the updates is. He uh, made some changes to the little racetrack that's just over there. We'll have a look at that. Um, is that the wrench I was using or is that another one? Well, that's the one I'm using now. So, what's... Uh, Pop the injectors out of this as well. We just swap those over. Should have five. Just that I want to check the camshaft and everything under here is all right. I've undone them all. Why is it not coming up? Oh. I missed one, that's fine. Yep, we are good under there. I'll put that back on. And if I want a 100% reliable car, I could just sit here and rebuild the engine, you know. But I don't want to. I'll just do that. Spark plug to it, wouldn't I? Here's the screwdriver. There's a pile of bits. Should be around here somewhere. Two toolboxes. There's nothing up there. I'm going to turn my headphones off because they keep cutting in and out because the battery needs charging. And here's the ambient wind noise anyway, and some tool noises. Um, I think my plan is now to uh, get this car sorted. We'll top it up with some diesel. We'll go check out uh, that little race track see what uh, Viking's actually done. The update was released a few days ago, so I am quite late. This bit sucks, because you've actually got to do it one by one, but then again, I suppose you'd do that in real life, wouldn't you? Sometimes I think just because it's a video game, I want to do it as lazy as lazily as possible. Did I not undo that one? Yes, I did. I just didn't get hold of it. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just forget to do that. Press on the X first. Find it in a minute. So injectors do the same trick spark plugs like to do. Sometimes they drop through. It's probably on the floor somewhere. for the job. Don't want to uh, blow one of these to leave the hood, do we? That would not be a good day. Is this on? We don't seem to get any sort of uprated fuel line. I would have thought if you put in a high performance pump and 
eject is that you want larger fuel line because it's needing more fuel. Or am I thinking wrong? I could be thinking wrong. Well, I can't hear anything now. I'm having to watch every nut and make sure they uh, crank down. In theory, if that's engine repairs done, now I could chuck this over in the uh, junk heap. We could just take the car as it is and just drive over there. No, that's not bad going, look. These are the original injectors and there's actually only one that's starting to go bad, look at that. You can tell if they're starting to go bad, they start to go black in the ends. Not they do that in real life, but at least in the game, that's how you tell. Uh, what the time is like on this? You've got a slick one there, and you've got a slick one there. That's not going to be fun to drive that. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to finish the car. So, get that in the junk heap. bothered to start it, I'm just going to shove it in here, and get the undercarriage sorted next, just need to nudge the arse end around a bit, come on, there we go, shove it forwards, we should be near enough there, we are, I'm a little bit far forward though, Close enough. Right. In case anyone is wondering, my little moped, my little Yamaha job, is actually all up and running now. I think I've uh, resolved the running issues for the most part. Let's have a little look see. I need one rear shock. One control arm there from the looks of it. Backing plate looks like it's toast. I don't need another one of them. Front shop this side needs replacing. Oh yeah, the steering box will change that. And actually it looks like at the front it's only this control arm. So let's lower it a little bit. And I can get off the uh lever. And we'll grab the wrench. We'll start taking bits off. Now, these have got to have new tyres, so... That really just caused the car to tilt. Did I get that one? No, I didn't. Right, let's have a look. Ah, so the backing plate bit on this one is also... One out. Yeah, there's one control arm, there's two control arms this side actually. This is one. And this is the other one. Did I undo the wrong one down here? I did, didn't I? The right one come out. Uh, right. I think I'm going to undo all these ones first. Brake caliber is fine, but I will check. I'm going to take the caliber off because it's going to have to come off anyway. 
brake pads like. Uh, they could do with new ones and change them. You know, I've got to take this whole thing off. I might as well change it. I just realised I can't hear the thing. So I don't even know if I've got it. Oh, I did get it. Sweet. Uh, let's just put the junk bits down here. I need a screwdriver. Whoops, ran past it. I'll take the uh, rotor off. Actually, why don't I do it in this way? Let's just take that off in one lump. The bearing and the rotor, simply because that's a good bearing. This is the bit that's no good. We've got, it's going to make a pile there. And I think the backing plate. No, it's actually the caliper on this side. That's not any good. It's actually got a good set of brake pads in it, but. I've got to get a box to replace the other ones, so I might as well. Uh, change them all. Now, I think just to make things easy I'm going to take the wheels off the front as well. I don't know why these cars are tilted like that when you take parts off. You see that look? goes up and then dunk. does that when they're on the floor. I don't know why. There's not that many parts to replace under here. I've still got One more somewhere at the back here. Isn't there? there was two this side, I'm sure there was. And this side. I'm sure, there was two the other side. The wheel bearing like this side's okay. Yep. I'll need at least two of those anyway. And we need this control arm, so in theory, if I undo the back. Oh, I need a tie rod as well, don't I? And we sort of just now saw that. Come back. Chasing it. There's one tie rod as well. At least with the parts piled there, I can actually, you know, I've got a reminder of what I need. I suppose I should check the springs as well because I haven't done that yet. I'm double checking things because we need two rear shocks. Have I got anything laying out here? I've got parts laying everywhere, so. I've got a front shock. I just think it doesn't really. There's no point buying something if it's not needed. actually becoming annoying. Remind me to check that bolt when I've got it down because obviously I can't see it from down here. Right. Ooh, 
this one. Yes, I'm getting the blue steel box as well. Have a look out here. Exhaust is getting in the way. You are rear right. No, I need rear left, don't I? You're an automatic gearbox. I didn't want to throw you in when you... Front right. 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 Front right. Front right. Some of these I'll have to chuck back on. One, two. I am missing something from that side. I thought I was. Should be four of those control arms inside. So there's one which goes there. Should be another one. There it is, it was lying in the trunk. So I need one more. Oh, I don't need to change tiles. I've got some good spares here. Look at that. Probably just want some air in them. What's that? Another rear right. What is it with the bloody rear right? Front right as well. Everything is for the right side. There's another front uh, rear right one. A drive shaft. It's just one more of these. Yep, so now I just need that left one of those. I'll buy one, I'll just buy one. Uh, we've we'll got the rear shocks in this pile anyway. What's that caliper? A rear left caliper. Uh, I just need some brake pads in, so there we go. Not caliper at least. What is it? Rear right? Can we guess rear right? Yep. Front left. Awesome. These cars rocking around like that can actually be fixed. I might actually have to buy the uh, auto gear. We've got anything laying over here, have we? No. What's up here? Ooh. One rear shock. All I need now is to. Find tidal one. That one's bolted on because I can see it. So I've got one front whisper. I'll get me a spring tensioner and just have a quick look. Check these uh, springs up. I wonder what happened there. My finger hit the wrong button on the keyboard. Yep, that one is totally fine. Yep, that one's fine. No, that one's fine because we can see it. Let's double check this one. And you're fine. So we've got good springs. Uh, brake pads are okay on that one. Ah, got a steering doohickey there. That's uh, not any good. Got the brake pads on this side. We haven't got good enough meat. That's just the rear ones that need some attention then. Right. A 
I'm not a real shock in this pile of stuff anywhere, have I? Can't believe these are rear rights. That's right. That one's a right one. That one's a right one. That's three. Four. Five. <laughs> six. That's six, and they're all the right-hand side ones. What's that pile of stuff over there? A couple of doors. Right. Big pile of junk bits. Ooh. Are you a good one? I can't say. Oh, it is a good one. Awesome. There we go. I'm actually surprised I've not got a steering arm laying around here somewhere. I keep forgetting I can't go under the car, I can't say. It's too low. Oh, I needed a um can for Doug. I need a tie rod. If I remember to duck, then I can get under here. Go shopping. We need brakes and I need one of those. Oh. Must be in a suspension then. Uh one of those. One of those. Oops. No, let's start with this. How many people have just been yelling at their screen that uh, I'm an idiot? Because <laughs> it's not the left one that I want at all, is it? It's a right one. Oh dear me. Can I? Change the brake pads. Would it start? I can't believe I did. I don't know why I had it stuck in my head that it was the left side that I needed. Oh well, never mind. It does the action, but you can't actually take the pads out without uh, taking off of that first. Oh, it's been... in there. And then the next one. And then that one. They are now both. Nearly ready to go back on. There we go. Rear right, rear right. Oh, for Pete's sake. Put them in the wrong bloody one. That one's so worn, there's no backing plate for the brake pad. Yep, 
Is it good one? Will be when I can get this in there. Okay. So the worn one will go in, but the good one won't. Why? Or is that the bad one that I was picking up? Maybe it was a bad one. Get that out of the way. Get this bolted back on. Should have a plexi line here as well. Right, the other side then. One, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Yep, that's good. A disc, caliber. And a pair of wheels with good tires, and I think they're just about done under here. Um, am I going to need? I don't actually get to it from here. Oh, yes, I know what I need. Oh, bought a new one, didn't I? Ah, yeah, forgot. Shock. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be sitting here wondering why the car is lopsided. I will check those nuts when I've got this up the other way. Or down on the floor, I should say, not up the other way. That don't come off. Let me grab it, but nothing else has happened. Okay. I just end up changing the whole lot. That's not the thing I want, is it? That's a knuckle for the front. That's not what I want. <laughs> One more of those. And a something's gone a bit uh, awry there, so I'm just going to replace it all. Put that on, that's on. Sure, what's going on there? We might need another tie rod, actually. Yeah. That one on, I think. Yeah, it's not letting me pick it up. I 
have I got to put the steering link in before I can put these on? I'm going to try that other. Right, no. Ah, yeah, now it goes on. Now we can put some tiles back on. Grab a couple over here because these are good ones. I completely forgot I had a bunch of these. Think about it, we might have some spares down at the junkyard. I can't remember. I can't remember if we've still got spares at the junkyard or if I've actually brought them back. There we go, I think. So I make sure these are all done up. So Some rust there as well. I think it was the shop, wasn't it? Yeah, I've got that one. I'm looking for the uh Mount of the rear shop, I can't find it. Yep. Sweet. Yeah, this is not a good tyre. Wheel's good, tyre is not. Sleep. Now drive safely. He's not got me though. He's not Get to the 
It's worked after a fashion, they're not brilliant. Stunt rounds here as well. Got a hose. I have to move to. Can these be moved? I have got a ladder here as well. Hang on a minute, I'm going to do a bit of cheating. Uh, um, the Viking is actually aware that there's just a random set of shells floating. Ah. Yeah, right, let me just go and get the move to them. It'd be nice to turn that into something as well. Maybe there'll be uh, some more NPCs to interact with. Where I last saw the move to it. All this. Because I want to know if we can move the rat myself. Not a random toilet. A random toilet's in the middle of nowhere. Um, so 
attempt to get the bearings as far as the wall. So, can I actually do this? Things might be happening quickly. Okay, for now. Just uh, go back into normal mode. We can! Oh, I've got to find some bangers. Small cars that I don't care about. Have a bit of fun. So I'm assuming I can move this one as well. Yep. So of. So you can move the ramps around. What about these two that are in the middle? So they can be moved around as well. So yeah. Can I can have a bit of fun? Just leave that there. Oh, excuse me. Well, I'm going to leave the video here, guys. Um. Yeah, so uh, thanks a lot for watching. I think next time I'm going to find like an old, just one of my old jalopies or something, I'm sure, or just get something from the junkyard that I could quickly put together. I don't know. I'll grab something that I don't care about and we'll have some fun with it around here. Perhaps uh, have a load of spare parts and tools set up in here. It'll be a test track, crash test things. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone. Uh, as always, I will leave links to my other two YouTube channels, my Discord server and Twitch in the video description down below. So feel free to check those out. And uh, of course, if you like the video, then remember to hit that like button. If you didn't like the video, then hit the dislike button. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.